Hi guys, it's Birchbox versus Ipsy for the month of November. I actually got my boxes before the end of the month. I was uh, I was really surprised. In fact, my Birchbox came first for once. So since Birchbox got here first, let's go ahead and start with that one. So the first thing in my box is this Ayers Body Polish Pompous Sunrise, I believe is the scent, with the essential oils of lemongrass and patchouli. It's a very creamy body scrub, and it has enough scrubs that it is sort of gentle, but you definitely do get a scrub. I am way into body scrubs, so this is right up my alley. The next thing I got in my box is from Divine's, and this is a relaxing moisturizing fluid. I don't think I have the right hair type for this because it's supposed to be defrizzing and moisturizing and supposed to give you lovely straight hair. My hair is naturally very straight and not all that frizzy. And you do only want to use a small amount because if you use too much, your hair will start to look sort of greasy. I think this is more for like people with curly or wavy hair that gets all frizzy and crazy. Um, so it's just, it's just not really my hair type. It smells nice and I found it to be moisturizing. It just didn't do a whole lot for me. I also got a perfume. This is from my daughter fragrances and the scent is called Joyful and it smells really nice. It's very floral. It has a little bit of sandalwood in it. I like it. It's nice. This I was super excited to get. This is Frat Boy from The Balm and this is like a cult favorite and I've always wanted to try this one. It is a very peachy blush. I have it on right now. I also have my Julep bronzer on but I have have this kind of on the apples of my cheeks. It's that wonderful peachy tone that it's not orange, you know? It's just a nice flushed color. As always with the balm, the packaging is freaking adorable. It's a great quality blush. It lasts all day. It's pigmented, but not overly so, so that it's easy to use. I, I love this. I'm super happy with this, and I was super duper excited to get it. And then the last thing in here is Birchbox's new line, LOC, Love of Color. They got together with Tati, otherwise known as Glam Life Guru, here on YouTube. She's fabulous. If you don't already watch her, you should. I totally agree adore her. And when I saw that she was collaborating with them, immediately bought an eyeshadow pencil and a lip pencil. So now I have two of the Glam Life color because I got the same color in my box. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start collecting samples that I know I won't use and do a giveaway for you guys. So this is going to go into that pile. Now that I've just said that, I don't really like this. The color is really, really pretty. I definitely like the color. The formula, not so much. So it goes on, it feels very thin on your lips and it doesn't feel super drying or anything, but it clings to dry patches like nothing I've ever had. I didn't even think I had dry patches and suddenly my lips just looked like poo. It was awful. The color doesn't last very long. The moisture definitely doesn't last. It just did not sit well on my lips. I have dry lips. If you do not have dry lips, you probably will not have that problem. I also find that it goes on really patchy. It's like the formula is too thin and not pigmented enough, so you don't get even color. You have to like really put on 14 layers in order to get an even color. That being said, I can use this with a chapstick. I'll put it on underneath a chapstick and just kind of blend it out so that I get more of a stain or a wash of color rather than a full pigmented lipstick kind of a look. It's more just, you know, more, it looks more like a tinted lip balm is all. And so for that, I really do like it because like I said, I love the color. I think the color is super pretty. I have it on right now. I'm wearing it with another lip product I'll talk to you about in a minute. So I think it's workable. I think the color is really pretty. It's just not great if you have dry lips. The eyeshadow stick, this is a one and done eyeshadow stick. And this is wonderful. This is in the color smoke screen. It is such a beautiful color. I have it on my eyes right now. It's the only eyeshadow I'm wearing. How pretty that is. It's just such a beautiful pewter color and it's super easy to use. It glides on so creamy, so smoothly, blends out like a dream. It's not patchy at all. And then once it sets, it really stays put for about four or five hours maybe. If you wear a primer, you can definitely get longer wear time out of it, but it definitely starts to crease on me after about three hours. It looks really pretty just as a nice precise line or blend it out. I really love to smudge it out and get a nice smoky look with it. So this I definitely love and I will continue to use. I will make sure that I use a primer with it and just kind of throughout the day make sure it's not creasing too badly. That is my one issue with this. These by the way are the full sizes of these. They don't come in a larger size. Anyway these are fun and I'm excited for Tati and I think that it's cool that Birchbox is coming out with their own makeup line because hey 
hey, why not, right? Okay, so moving on to Ipsy. This is the cheesiest bag ever. This is like straight out of the 80s. I'm surprised there isn't a unicorn on it. So as I mentioned, I have on my lips this lip product as well as the LOC. This is from Tristique. They are very similar. Look at this. Look at the packaging. They're almost the exact same size. This is also a matte lip pencil. This one is in the color Florence Fig, which is very much a spice color. It looks pretty orangey on me, but it is a nice color if you can get away with that sort of a shade. I have it combined with the LOC Glam Life color just to give it a little more of a rosy tone and I think that that works a little bit better for me. The formula on this one is really nice. It feels very smooth and hydrating, although that doesn't really last that long. It feels almost like a cream to powder. It looks almost like a velvety finish, but it never feels dry. The moisture doesn't last very long, so I have to keep applying it just to get that moisture because I'm addicted to lip balm. But this one, the formula absolutely wins as opposed to the LOC that clings to dry patches. This one does not at all. This is such a fun product. I was really skeptical about this at first because it's a little silly. This is a travel with me makeup paper travel brush. This is in the color Sicily. It's kind of a, a bronzy blush color and it has a little bit of shine to it, like a satin finish. So what it is, is just a little cardboard thing and it has these really thin papers in here, kind of like blotting tissues, but they have blush on them. And so you just take one of these papers and you rub it on your cheeks to apply blush and it actually works. And I was convinced that this is going to either have zero color or really patchy color and just be weird and hard to apply. It's not at all. It's a little strange, you know, you're putting paper on your face to apply blush, but it actually blends out really nicely and it didn't look patchy or weird at all. And you just kind of, you can kind of pat it on or rub it on if you want more color. It's not super pigmented. So you're not going to get a heavy streak of blush, which I think is good because with this sort of an application, you need to be careful. So I was really impressed with these and kind of surprised that they worked well. Okay, Jensen came to join me. So anyway, I really like these. I think that they are awesome. And this is such a nice travel friendly thing. I mean, you can shove this in your pocket, in your purse, whatever. Whatever, and it's not going to break. You don't need a brush to apply it. It's, I think that it's really neat and innovative and I'm surprised and I really do like this. I think that this is cool. I got a Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara sample. This is going into the pile of things that I will not use. I got a sample of this a while ago, I think in my birch box. It's a big, fluffy, fat, bristly brush. I know a lot of people have liked it and with a primer, you definitely get big, full lashes. Speaking of big and full, this is Coolway Stronghold Spray. This is a hairspray, but but it doubles as a defrizzing volumizer spray. And the directions actually say to put it on your wet hair before blow drying so that you will get voluminous hair. And then you can also put it on dry hair as just a normal hairspray. So this was kind of an interesting product. I used it today and it doesn't leave that crunchy stiff feel that you think of with especially stronghold hairspray. My hair is very soft and manageable and definitely big. <laughs> so it's nice and it helps keep the curl in your hair all day long. Another really interesting product that I think is pretty cool. Also interesting is this blue eyeliner. It actually says that it is navy gel eyeliner. This is not navy. This is like bright blue, but it came with a brush, which I thought was nice. I don't really like the brush, but it's not a bad brush. It's just not my personal style. I have one from Sephora that's a nice, really thin angled brush. That's my favorite for gel liner. And I do love gel liner. See. It, that's way more bright than navy. And I'm wearing it today. It's a very thin gel. And so when you apply it, you get that uneven coverage where it's thicker on the outside and then the center looks like it doesn't have anything on it. You know what I'm talking about? You can go back over it for a second coat and that usually takes care of the patchiness and it doesn't lift up the first layer, which is really nice. And once it sets, it lasts pretty well, but definitely after a couple of hours, it starts transferring. I snapped last night a picture of my eye and it was 
was just like all up here. So it's very pretty and fun, but it definitely does transfer, and it's just not really the greatest quality. It was kind of a weird Ipsy bag this month. It wasn't horrible, but I definitely prefer my birch box. People are always asking me overall which one I prefer, and I always say birch box. With Ipsy, you get more makeup, but with birch box, you get better quality stuff, and they have a really amazing point system and online shop. So that is why I prefer Birchbox. But I continue to get my Ipsy because I do love it and I think that it's a lot of fun. Speaking of which, I already bought my ticket to go to Generation Beauty this year. So I will be going in January in LA. So let me know if you guys are gonna go too. And if you haven't already bought your tickets, make sure that you do it now before the prices go up. All right, well that completes my Birchbox versus Ipsy for the month of November. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!